Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 16th of 2023. Well, it is titled Fireball over Iceland. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken just four days ago on the 12th of September from a region very close to the Arctic Circle, very far north in Iceland. And what we see up in the sky, a couple of different things. Of course, we see a number of stars, part of our own Milky Way galaxy. We see the aurora stretching there, some of the greener colors of the aurora down a little lower and up higher in the atmosphere we see sometimes the purple and red colors in the even thinner atmosphere very high up. Now what really of course draws your attention is the meteor or what is called a fireball. Now the difference between a fireball and a meteor is just the size. So really a fireball is just a really large meteor that can get extremely bright. And when you look at this, you can kind of see how bright the sky is because of how difficult it is to see stars near the meteor itself. So while we see some of them, it certainly seems a lot brighter. And in fact, this was so bright at its brightest, it was about the brightness of the full moon, which is very good at washing out the stars. Now, how can we get that direct comparison? Well, let's look at another image of this taken a little while later. And you can see again how dark the sky is. This was taken not that much later. We can still see the trail left behind by this fireball in the sky. However, we note the difference and we can go back and forth between these. How much brighter the sky was while that fireball was occurring. And when we see it without the uh, fireball, of course, we see the aurora much more prominent. They're not near as washed out as they are in the other image. So what it is, is again, how bright that fireball was. Again, the brightness of the full moon is extremely bright. The full moon is the second brightest object in the sky and second only to the sun. So that is a lot of brightness there. And this occurs again when a much larger, a somewhat larger object burns up in the upper atmosphere. Most meteors that we see are tiny specks of dust and grains of sand that vaporize. When you get something a little bit larger, you can get much more energy being released, giving us the larger fireball type that we see in the image for today. Now, how do you get an image of a fireball? Well, you actually have to be quite lucky. So it's not something that can be predicted that they are just will occur every once in a while when that piece of material happens to strike Earth's atmosphere. Now we know when meteor showers are likely to occur and we can predict those uh, based on past observations that certain the earth will pass through certain clumps of material at certain times of year. So we know, for example, the Perseid meteors from a little about a month ago or so. But individual meteors we cannot predict. So you just have to be taking images at the right time and happen to have that fireball come across your field of view, as we saw in this picture today. So that was our picture of the day for September 16th of 2023. It was titled Fireball over Iceland. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be magnified moon mountains. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.